Today on the show, we're going to be talking about Julian Keller, also known as Helian from the X-Men. If you didn't know that he actually thought that Prodigy had useless powers, then this show is for you. So Julian would first appear in New Mutants Volume 2, Number 2. So Julian was born in LA to parents who originally had nothing. They were in poverty and they worked themselves up in the financial ladder till they became billionaires. And Julian was sent to the Xavier Institute with the hope that he would learn how to properly utilize his powers. But when he got to the school, he didn't really get along with a lot of the other students. He had the type of attitude that implied he thought he was better than everyone else. But Emma Frost took a personal liking to him, which is why his codename is Helian. When it came to Julian and his chemistry with other students, he got along kind of well with Sophia. You see, he and Sophia flirted a lot, but when they were doing anything outside of flirting, they did not get along at all. Their personalities and ideals were polar opposites. It's also worth saying that Julian really didn't get along with David. Julian thought David's power was useless for some reason, so he thought David didn't have a place at the Institute. But then M-Day would come about and all the training squads would be abolished and the remaining mutants had to compete to join the new X-Men, which Julian did. Now here's where things start to go downhill. Julian would get a place on the new X-Men, but Serge was the leader and Julian and Serge famously did not get along. Then Sophia would overhear Julian say that David did not have a place at the Institute now that he didn't have any powers. But the thing is, Sophia also didn't have any powers anymore. So this would cause Sophia to leave the Institute hating Julian. Now this is a prime example of the type of thing that you can expect of Julian's character. You see, one night, all of the students that were inside the Xavier Institute were teleported to limbo. The thing is, Julian and Serge were outside arguing, so they did not get teleported to limbo, and they would only realize what happened when Trance got a message across to the two of them. The two of them would eventually find a way into limbo, but they were next to useless while there, and then they would be teleported back to Earth with the rest of the mutants by Ileana. It would only be later on when we really got a good grasp on what Julian could and couldn't do with his powers. We found out that his telekinesis only allowed him to interact with larger objects, which wasn't a good thing or useful at all. And the thing is, he was the only telekinetic left on Earth, meaning no one could teach him how to properly utilize his powers. Then a bit later on, a whole bunch of drama would go on, but the only thing that we really learned from it is Julian and David still don't get along, and Julian and X-23 kind of have a thing for each other. Then in Messiah Complex, Julian is Look, what happens is, Julian and the new X-Men go to attack the Purifiers, but before they do, Blindfold predicts that Julian is going to be badly hurt, but they go anyway. Then when they arrive, they are ambushed by the Reavers and Lady Deathstrike, and Lady Deathstrike badly injures Julian. Then they have to be teleported out of there, but the teleportation spell done by Pixie, I believe, goes horribly wrong, and the mutants are split between Washington and the Xavier Institute. Then for the rest of this story arc, Julian is being medically treated and is on life support. After this, Julian would wake up in a hotel room with Emma Frost, and Emma Frost would tell him the X-Men are gone and the school is destroyed. And Julian tells Emma that she's taking away everything he loves, and Emma Frost puts him back to sleep. And when he wakes up, she is gone, and he cannot find anyone anywhere. So he decides to go home. And when he goes home, he finds that his parents have moved and have not told him. Julian, as a last resort, would try going to Magneto to try and join him. But Magneto tells Julian to enjoy this time of peace, because the new war for mutants is fast approaching. Julian is only reunited with the X-Men when he is captured by the Leaper Queen and he has to be rescued by the X-Force, but he is also injected with the Legacy Virus. Fortunately, X-Force had Elixir on the team, so Elixir is actually able to cure Julian of the virus. Then Simon Trask would come to San Francisco in favor of Proposition X, 
and a riot would break out and Julian would attack Trask on national TV. And this would cause Norman Osborn to have to come to San Francisco with his Dark Avengers to try and restore order. Osborn then creates the Dark X-Men led by Emma Frost and creates a curfew for the city. So Julian has the idea to break the curfew in non-violent protest, so the world would see peaceful mutants being arrested for no good reason. But then Match decides to ruin this peaceful protest by torching the area, which causes these mutants to be arrested by Emma Frost, and they would only be saved when Emma Frost betrays Norman Osborn. Later on, in a fight where Julian was protecting Hope Summers, he loses both of his hands, and he has to be taken to Namor's Atlantean colony to be put on life support and for protection. Julian totally blames Hope for all of his injuries, and he tries to confront her about them, but Magneto tells him to back off. Julian would be given prosthetic hands later on, but they weren't that good. You see, he couldn't use them with his telekinetic powers, which meant they were essentially useless to him. Then, Julian Hope are all attacked by Carmaya, and here Julian's powers evolve. Julian's powers evolve to the point where he can now feel the telekinetic wave in everything, even through the subatomic structure of objects, meaning he can move that wave through the space between atoms. Because of this, Julian is able to make very quick work of Carmaya, which causes her human half to resurface and beg to be put out of her misery. So Julian does. He blasts a huge telekinetic wave at her head, which leaves her in a coma and possibly brain dead. Julian is obviously reprimanded by Cyclops for this, but Julian honestly doesn't care. So Cyclops tells Julian that if he keeps up this attitude, he will either have to leave Utopia or be imprisoned in the brig. Then in the X-23 series, Julian would be stabbed in the back by a demon-possessed Wolverine, so X-23 has to save Julian. So Julian has to get saved again. But then soon after that, Julian would choose to go to Westchester with Wolverine, so it's good to see that being stabbed in the back by a demon-possessed Wolverine really didn't affect his feelings towards Wolverine himself. Then soon after this, Marvel Now. Julian's a very strange character for me personally because it's not that I don't like him, but he's always been at extremes. He's never had like just a simple storyline. He's either being knocked unconscious and put on life support, or he's losing his hands, or his powers are evolving. There's nothing simple. Because of this, I don't think he's been allowed to evolve. You know, for a character to evolve, you need the mundane with the fantastic. And we've been missing that mundane for a long, long time now. I think he's a great concept for a character, which is why I think he's been utilized as much as he has. He just needs a writer that really gets him. Personally, I don't know what I would do with him, but that's mostly because I've really got my eyes on two members of the X-Men that I would kill to write, which are Pixie and Blindfold. I do think in his current state, he would need to be in a team environment so he can have some mundane stories that would allow him to evolve, which is why the X-Men is possibly the best team for him. Then again, he could also work in the Young Avengers. I would really like to see him have a couple of storylines where he really clashes with Nova because that would be fantastic to read. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. If you think I forgot anything majorly important about Julian, please let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more history. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon and subscribe to my gaming channel. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.